Well, here I am in Barkville. I've got one over here. There's one. Picking and choosing. As you can see, he's got food all over the floor over there. I got some new food. Apparently, he likes the new food better. And I've got the other one over here. Hey, Max. Mad Max. Hey. He loves looking out the door when I have it open. Oh, yeah. Yeah, then he's king of the, king of the, <laughs> oh, yeah, you see a dog, that's why, okay, he's out there running, yeah, yeah, I see him out there, There's a little chihuahua out there running loose, and I'm hoping that he just... I'm hoping he's not just lost and somebody, he got out. You know, when you're in these campground things, you never know. People leave their dogs off the leash. They're not supposed to be. So you don't know if it's a dog that's gotten loose, you know, and is going to get lost. Or if they just are letting them run wild, which they're not supposed to. They're supposed to be on a leash. Well, I hope it's not somebody's little dog that got out when they weren't looking and Yeah, well I know where mine are That's all I can say I know where my dogs are. I never let them off a leash unless I'm in a place where there's nobody else at all I mean nobody No other animals around nobody around then, then I will let them off for a minute, but I keep them right next to me. I never just let them run like that. Oh, my God. Anyway, let's get to the cards of the morning and see what we've got for today. Yeah, I see you picked and choose and you've left other food all over the thing again. Good thing I took up the carpet, huh? Hey. <laughs> Bad boy. <laughs> I couldn't find their usual brand. I had to get something else. Apparently they like the new ones, so that's good. Much easier to get. Okay, first card out. We're starting with grace today. Adornment, bring out beauty, elegance. Outer as a reflection of the inner. Vanity, charisma, self-expression. So we'll have to see. what the other cards coming out and how they fit together today. Grace. Now, grace can also be that which is unearned. Yeah, learn from spiritual experience. This has come out a lot. This card likes to come up a lot. Learn from your spiritual experiences. And in the spiritual path, there is a lot of grace that happens. Okay. Even the left-handed blessings are grace. Butterfly metamorphosis. Okay. 
don't forget in the spiritual journey you have to crawl like the caterpillar before you can fly like the butterfly it is a process of metamorphosis are you a caterpillar or are you a butterfly <laughs> where are you at in your spiritual journey Next is revision. Revision. Maybe it's time to look at things. Oop, here goes closed. Maybe it's time to look at things and revision. Time to take an assessment, that's the word I want. Make an assessment of where you're at and maybe you need to modify the direction a little bit. Revision. Just a minute, Mr. Raj. Next is trust. In your journey, you have to trust Place trust in the universe. Place trust in great spirit. That the best is going to happen if one door closes, another one opens. Okay. You know, the journey does not always go based upon your own ideations and wants and dramas. Okay. path goes on based on things that one has to confront and to um, go beyond. So move forward. Be willing to move forward. A lot of times people get in a place and moving forward will entail going through a place that's uncomfortable, um, having to surrender into something that's fearful, okay, and so they don't move forward. They just sit there and keep spinning, but you're not going to get to the end of the journey unless you're willing to move forward into unknown lands. You know? Like I said, the very last of the journey is terrifying, and you've got to be willing to surrender into it. And last but not least, it's the first one time this has come up. Sandpiper spirit. Be playful. <laughs> Sandpipers. Have you ever seen the sandpipers at the beach? <clears throat> The waves go out, they run out there real quick. Wave starts coming in, they turn around and run back. <laughs> so they're following the waves in and out all day. Sandpipers. Hey, you two, will you not please get into the cards? Can it can you can we please not get into the cards and get them all over everywhere? Can I can I can you work with me a little bit here? Could you work with me a little bit, you two? Oops, oops, sorry. Did I whack you? Sorry. Uh. <laughs> okay. There you go. Good boys. Now let me go through this one more time. So. Don't forget to take time to be playful. It's important, you know, you have to lighten up a little bit sometimes. Give yourself a little breathing room, some space. Oh, shift, huh? <laughs> hey, mouse. Hey, me. Hey, mouse. What you doing? What you doing, mouse? What you doing, mouse? Okay. 
Oh, and there comes, yeah, oh, yeah, you can't stand it when he's up there. You're going to go kiss your brother and torture him now? <laughs> when Raj comes up and he wants a little attention, then Raj runs over and says, oh, I'll give you attention. I'll kiss you. And he's like, <laughs> let me out of here. You too. Okay, so we're starting with the sandpiper. Be willing to move forward in your journey. If you're stuck and you're spinning, <clears throat> then maybe look at it. And at that point, maybe you need to revision. You need to change something so that you can go forward. Okay. Mr. Max, you have to, again, trust the universe. Sometimes trusting the universe is not so easy when you get to the difficult parts of the journey. You know, it's not, not all just fun and games. Although when you, people get to that part where the heart blossoms and first opens and you have that overwhelming joy and overwhelming well-being and, you know, people think they're at the end and they've only just begun. They haven't gotten to the hard lessons yet. <laughs> I love those. Have that first blossoming of that heart opening. And they think they're completed. And nobody can tell them anything. <laughs> and they haven't even hardly taken the first step on the journey. You know, that just psychs you up to do the rest of the journey. But then you get to the tough lessons. Okay. Butterfly metamorphosis. Mr. Max, please let me finish. Thank you. Okay. So recognize where you're at in the journey. Are you at the butterfly stage? Or are you still caterpillar crawling along and doing what you need to do inch by inch? Great teacher. Learn from your spiritual experiences. And for those that have gone forward to do the whole of the spiritual path. Last but not least, grace. Yeah. Realization happens by grace. Doesn't mean you're going to get there if you do nothing. You have to do the work. But the work, okay. <laughs> you know, they say faith without works is dead. You still got to do the works. But you realize, you know, at the end that it's grace. It's grace in the end, not by your own actions. Ego never gets there. Ego never gets enlightened. Okay. Doesn't happen to egos. It happens by grace. By surrendering into that great spirit, it happens by grace. Okay. So... We're going to leave this here. Oh, Mr. Max, you want that open? He's, ten, he's, he's sitting by the door again. He likes when it's open. So I'm going to open that for him just a little bit. While this is uploading, have a little coffee. And then we're going to hit the road. Oh, I wanted to say, somebody asked me about doing readings on those two that were found murdered. Um... I guess there were two Republicans, a woman and a man. I usually don't like to do readings on deaths and something. I don't know. Um, but we'll see. I don't know. Maybe I'll try throwing a reading and just see what the cards say, what what's going on, see if I get a reading or not on it. Um, and then somebody asked me to do one on Melania. They say, oh, they digested everything on my site. <laughs> well, that's impossible. I, got, I joined this morning and I've digested everything here. Now, could you do a reading on Melania? <laughs> well, you haven't digested everything. You couldn't have watched more than a couple of videos. Okay, so yeah, okay. <laughs> And I've done readings on Melania, okay? She's an opportunist, okay? <laughs> She's in it for the bucks. It's not love, okay? What more do you need to know about Melania? She's a shallow <laughs> Barbie doll in it for the money, okay? That's it. 
nothing more to say about her. Okay, so I'm going to leave this here. Thanks. Have a great day. See you online. Aho.